What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Today is Thursday, March 14th, 2024. It is 42 degrees here on Long Island in the great state of New York. I had a really blessed week in Florida between taking a few days off and relaxing for a little holiday vacation. We had an epic three days, three days at Pipe Doctor Home Services of Central Florida. It was epic. It was really epic. Quick little summary. Monday, uh, we serviced our first central air conditioning residential customer. We went to the supply house, stocked up some expensive things that we need on the service vehicle, like ECM motors and things like that. Tuesday, Tuesday, I went with the other Matt, the guy who couldn't wrap the Teflon tape the right way. Uh, we installed a salt-free, electric-free, and drain-free whole house water treatment system with two tanks, and it really, ah, it came out epic. And yesterday, yesterday was the icing on the cake. Right before I headed on to uh, my flight from MCO to JFK, we went on our second residential air conditioning service call for the company. And we're there for two maintenances on two systems, a five ton and a ton and a half system. Replaced an ECM blow mode, unfortunately, in a carrier air handler. Damn, they're expensive, you know what I mean? And the five ton, listen, it's five, it's, uh, it was 10 years old. We had another bad ECM motor and we had leaks in the system. Um, in Florida, you know, you, you're using your HVAC equipment for a good solid, solid 10 months out of the year. So when you have a decade of service on HVAC equipment, it's generally time to replace, especially when you have a, a significant repair uh, to consider. So, uh, dude, they're getting a Bosch. They sell itself. I'm telling you, the Bosch IDS, the inverter ducted system, they sell themselves. It is epic. It is great technology and whisper quiet operation on the outdoor condensing unit in most operating conditions. And literally, it's the equivalent of the LED light bulb. Hopefully, it'll be installed next Monday when I'm back in Florida, but I think it's gonna be installed next week. And the entire family team at Pipe Doctor Home Services of Central Florida, formerly known as Plumbing and Air by Tom, they got it under control. So if you're in Central Florida in Orlando area, give us a call at 407-375-1100. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So it's a little after 7.30 in the morning. I'm heading to the Bronx. Special trip. We typically don't travel outside our service territory, uh, but we do make case-by-case -case exceptions. For those who live in Brooklyn, you know, um, Eastern Suffolk County, you know, past Deer Park Avenue and Sacatos Parkway, that's pretty far from us here. And, Woodmere, New York, the Bronx, Westchester County. Uh, if you're in those areas, you can book a uh, an appointment with me online at pipedoc.net. Click on the, the link to uh, book online. It'll bring you to our House Call Pro uh, booking page, and you can book an appointment. Now, there is a additional charge for travel to Brooklyn, the Bronx, those areas outside our normal service territory, but you know what, if you're not a fan of paying twice, just call us once and we'll take care of it for you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So like I said, we're heading to the Bronx. I'm about 45 minutes into my commute so far. Gotta love New York traffic. Not that it's any better in Florida or <laughs> Los Angeles, but um, we're going to the Bronx. We have a customer that has a uh, high efficiency uh, condensing and modulating. 
well, not modulating yet. We have a high efficiency condensing wall hung combi system. Uh, they have an astronomically high uh, gas bill for the past couple months. And we're gonna throw on some sensors on the supply and return piping and then hook up the outdoor reset. So uh, it's gonna be pretty epic. We don't usually hook up outdoor resets here in New York because almost every home that has hydronic heating has, you know, baseboard, you know, fin tube baseboard, convectors or cast iron radiators, and you need that 180 degrees of water in order to get the right amount of BTUs for output to heat and properly warm and condition the, uh, the home. So let's go see what's going on over there. Take a look at the Long Island Sound. Very nice, very nice. Entering the Bronx. Damn, that took an hour to get here. And this is one reason why I really don't like going to the Bronx or Brooklyn. Ain't no place to park, but I got a spot right there. Actually, no, we're good. We're good we're parked. Let's go say hi. Which doorbell should I ring? Uh, it's actually going to be me. So my parents are out on vacation. Oh, um, nice. I, 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 I wish I was up. Um, I'm going to be there literally in three minutes. I have to drop my son off. I'm actually on the way back. Okay, very good. I'll see you in a, see you in a hot minute. Thank you. All right, bye or i'll see you in a new york minute all right uh if you take a look on the side of the house right here we have our exhaust we have our intake i uh i mounted the outdoor temperature sensor um i didn't make the hole here it was the, the hole was drilled by an electrician as he blew through it from the <laughs> from the inside out and uh yeah so here's the outdoor sensor that's wired, and I'm gonna show you the connection points on the actual indoor unit. So we uh, ordered um, temperature thermosistors, and I have one secured here to the supply side. I have another one on the return side, and inside of our unit, we have it wired right there, if you can see it. Temperature out, supply, temperature return, and here is our outdoor temperature sensor right there. So we'll be able to really maximize efficiency. I'm gonna take some duct ties, zip ties, and strap this together. So completely unrelated to the machine, and while we're here, homeowner got creative with some duct tape or flex seal. And uh, we had a joint here leaking. Here is the two inch central therm 90. And look, that it's just rotted out there. Take a look at that. It's just rotted, the O-ring. See that? It looks like a little, def eh, there's a little deform there. Yeah, it is a little deform there as well. Hmm, centrotherm. Why? Why is it deformed and why is it like that? See that? Look at that. How old's the unit? Three um, years? No, uh, about a year and a half. Wow. Yeah. What is up with that? Well, it took a little elbow grease to get that out of there, but this is what it used to look like when it was new. Here's that riser coming out of the top of the wall hung condensing boiler, which is now modulating. Um, but look at this, like why did that happen? And don't tell me it wasn't deep enough because it was only in there and it was secured with the ring, it was done the right way. It's crazy. Let me show you the new one. Here's the new one. See, another central therm, another two inch 90. Does that one look a little different? Or that's just my imagination. It is different. Hmm, this is significantly bigger than that. It is actually. I'm gonna pay more. <laughs> All right, got that new central therm, two inch 90 in there. If I had a two foot piece I would have replaced that too, but we good. It's been running. We have had multiple zones. 
we have these three zones here. These are by Aquamotion. Uh, I think, um, I'm pretty sure it's not Platsky. It's Wallace Ennis that reps Aquamotion. I remember my, uh, my good colleague and close friend, Mike Knapp, over at Wallace Ennis was trying to push these on me, if I'm not mistaken, but I prefer Taco. There's nothing like, nothing like a Taco circulate, I'll tell you. Those ECMs, the 007 ECEs and the 0015 Es are really, really epic. Um, we got the sensor on right there. We have another sensor on right here. We have our outdoor sensor, our zip tied, that wire that was ran by others. And we did all the configurations inside the machine to make it uh, good and give it that Energy Star seal of approval. All right, ladies and gentlemen, finished up that service call. Spent the, damn, time does fly, even when you're having fun. Let me tell you something, if you are in a profession where you enjoy what you do, every day becomes a fun day, and it's more like a hobby that you get paid good money for. Um, tech tip here, if you are in the market for a new heating system, or you have one of these high efficiency condensing boilers, tankless water heaters, right? Um, they're condensing because the exhaust temperatures that, or the stack temperature, the flue temperature that leaves the boiler, right, is such a low temperature that the vaporized condensate or the vaporized byproducts of combustion, right, uh, which when it transforms back and it cools off and transforms back into a liquid resembles water. It's far from water. It is very acidic liquid which we call condensate in the HVAC world, right? Um, you have to treat it by the way, but because of the low discharge temperature, that low exhaust temperature on, you, on this condensing boiler, right? Even before the exhaust gases leave the top of the heating system, right? You're already gonna have condensation forming, right? And that condensation is gonna drip through you know, the vent assembly of the system and then make its way to a condensate neutralizer, which then it can be properly discharged either, either into the ground or into your sanitary drainage system of the, of the property, of the home. Um, keep in mind that these condensing boilers, right, uh, they thrive. I don't care what brand it is. If you have, you know, foreign made or domestic made, right? They thrive on low temperature, okay? So if you're using a condensing boiler to make 180 degrees of, of space heating temperature, it's never gonna condense, right? It'll condense for that brief period of time from ambient room temperature to it gets to that uh, set point of 180 degrees. But if you have a condensing boiler, it's very important, regardless of the brand that you have, to utilize the outdoor reset if, need be but also you want to make sure that if it has the ability to have a supply and return piping temperature sensors you want to have those hooked up as well now if you have fin tube baseboard for example um you know they're rated at um you know certain btus at a certain temperature you know if you lower the temperature you're going to have less btus so if you're if you're heating elements you know the baseboard the fin tube baseboard was calculated you know for x amount of feet to heat this room and if you lower that temperature you could you could sacrifice comfort by utilizing outdoor reset because on those warmer days you're not going to know we're getting nowhere near 180 degrees if you want to learn more about uh this you know there's plenty there's a plethora of information online Google, YouTube, great source, great resources. Also check out the uh, website, heatinghelp.com. There's a lot of great professionals on there, myself included. I'm not so great though. Um, that uh, we have the wall there where you can ask questions, whether you're a homeowner or a professional. Check it out, heatinghelp.com. Thank you so much for watching. I feel so great to be back here uh, at Pipe Doctor in New York, but I'm actually anxious to get back to Florida. Uh, because it's warm and <laughs> the air conditioning season there is just getting started and um, 
if I can work on HVAC all day long, I would, that would be my ideal dream hobby to have. Thank you so much. Please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and if you want to get post notifications when I drop a video, which is usually every day, hit that notification bell. All right, I'm back on the Throgs Neck Bridge, heading back onto Long Island. So let me uh, pay attention to the road, stop at stop signs, and obey all vehicle traffic laws that are enforced in the state of New York. <laughs> Catch you in the next one, guys. Give you a view of Manhattan today as we get up out of the Bronx and go into Queens on Long Island. Yeah, you guys yell at me for driving on the Cross Island. There's a damn effing U-Haul on the Cross Island. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. 75 here. Feels like I'm on the I 4 Express in Orlando. There we go, baby.